Hi, everyone. My name is Cheryl Vito. I'm happy to be talking with you today about monitoring of Phase 1 studies. Our course objectives for the day are to first identify the importance of pharmacokinetics and time blood drawing or serial sampling. We're going to describe the differences between Phase 1 research sites and some of the others that you may be familiar with if you're familiar with sort of the larger Phase 3 efficacy studies. We're going to talk about the differences between phase one monitoring activities compared with some of the other studies that you might be used to. And we're going to recognize common compliance issues at phase one research sites or units. We'll talk uh, a little bit more in detail about safety monitoring in phase one studies and also identifying additional essential document requirements and a little bit about appropriate GCP references that support phase one monitoring. So a little bit of an overview. Heard the term new chemical entity or NCE. This is when a compound is first introduced into human subjects. Typically, what we're doing is transitioning from non-clinical to human studies. So I'm sure that you know the phases of drug development, but before we get into humans, we have to look at any compound in animals first. We do extensive non-clinical testing in different animal species, at different routes of administration, different timing, and a, very, a lot of different dosages to try and determine what would be a safe therapeutic dose, or at least to get a range so that we can go into a clinical trial in humans. 